Morning guys, Mark Frash with ProTech Dog Training. We got Diesel out this morning. And one of the biggest things that I do that may be a little bit different than most trainers is yes, that I take the dog out the first couple days he's with me and all we're doing is bonding. Taking a walk, getting to know each other. Diesel's already been in before as he's a puppy, but he's changed a lot. I gotta figure out, nope, come here Diesel. Good boy, good, come on. It's where his head's at, so um, good boy Diesel. Diesel, Diesel, good boy, good, there's my boy, good. Come on Diesel, come on Diesel. Yes, good boy, good. That's a good boy. Good, figuring out where his head's at, feeding him a lot of food, and getting him used to a really just a, a friendly bond with him and not really yanking on him or doing anything that's asking him behaviors too much. And kind of just figuring out where the dog's head's at. What do I need to work on? Is it hyperactivity? Is it an overflow of out, uh, outlet behaviors? What is it that I need to work on? Where's the dog's head at? And with him, he's already bowed up on a couple dogs, so we're gonna have to work on dogs and some other things. Good boy, Diesel. You can chew my leash. I'm going to be pissed. Good boy. Good. Good boy. You make me mad. You chew on my leash. Diesel. Diesel. Good boy. You'll also notice that I have a 20-foot line on him or 15, whatever it is. Long line. And I use that because I want to have the dog have more freedom, go out and do his own thing. And I can check the dog by stepping on it. And right now, he's after the food. Yes. Good. Which is fine. Good boy. Come on. And we're going to introduce Clicker back to him. And remember, he was only here. He was probably, um, what was he, four months old when he came in the last time? He was a young dog. He was uh, pretty young. All we did really was imprint him and do a lot of socialization, a lot of in-public type stuff. So we got used to being out in public and getting to imprint, basically. Puppy imprinting stage is all that was. Good. So this time we'll concentrate more on the obedience and really getting some explicit obedience out of them and, and some control around the outset, outside propensities of behavior, meaning dog aggression, bowing up on dogs, that kind of thing we need to concentrate on a little bit. You know, you're know, you not going to get too far into it because this is a mastiff breed. You can't expect him to be uh, that good with dogs. He's not going to be really a social animal sitting in the dog park, and you don't want that anyway. You don't want him to get high on dogs and be into that, and you have a chance for him to break into a fight, and we don't want that. So I'll be playing with him in the next week or two and, and putting some work on him. We'll see where, where we go with it. Uh, I thank you very much for uh, taking a view, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.